Joining me now in the studio is Douglas Wickramaratna, president of the Singhala Association here in the UK. Welcome to BBC News. Uh, what impact will this killing have on the peace process such as it is? Well, Mr. Kad Lakshman Kadrigama was a very popular politician and uh, I think it's a terrible blow for the so-called peace process because Mr. Kadrigama, mind you, has always insisted that the uh, there should be amendments to this peace process because the ceasefire that was signed had created a lot of problems because, uh, I mean, a lot of people think, well, there's, uh, there's no war there. But during the ceasefire period, LTT has killed up to now, in the last two years, 350 people. The LTT, the Tamil Tiger Rebel Group. Exactly. And they have, the, the, the monitoring committee itself has admitted there are over 3,000 violations. And the United Nations, these are not my figures, the United Nations have said that they have abducted children, 6,000 children. So there is no actual ceasefire in that sense. Now, they are the main group that are negotiating uh, with the government. How representative are they of the Tamil population? Well, they've never been tested, you see, because they have never had any parliamentary election. The L LTT rules by the gun. And there are other, other Tamil groups that are opposed to this. In fact, the ceasefire was a very uh, described by a, 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 a Tamil United Liberation Front leader as a very foolish agreement because it says LTT are the sole representatives of the Tamils and also that there is no talk about surrendering of weapons. And, and Lakshman Kadragama recently in London uh, to a question that I raised in a public meeting. He said, well, no country can have two armies or two navies and uh, the LTT must surrender weapons if they are to go ahead with any kind of a p uh, permanent solution to the problem. Why has tension risen particularly since the tsunami? Uh, it's not quite since the tsunami. It had been going on, as I say, for the last two years. 350 people have been killed and some of the uh, about 50 intelligence officers have been killed and, and the government has downplayed it. In fact, some of the human rights organizations themselves have said the government and the opposition have not made any, uh, 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 told the world about the children being abducted. It was up to United Nations to come out with this thing and people like the American Human Rights Organization, Human Rights Watch, who came out saying that these children are being abducted but the government doesn't want to, they think that because of the Norwegian pressure, Norwegian, Norway who uh, drafted the uh, agreement, because of the Norwegian press, they think that uh, government should not highlight these things, you see. And uh, it's a question of appeasement of the LTTE. Okay. Douglas Wickramaratna, many thanks for joining us. Thank you.